Hey guys, I'm Nixie Nova, and welcome back to the first snapshot for 1.13, 17W43A. So, 1.13 is called the technical update, or something like that, and it'll just overhaul commands and change a lot of back-end features, like the game library and the game files. There won't be any visual changes, so you can expect that in 1.14, when Jasper releases the textures he's been working on. So that is retexturing every single block, item, and mob in the game. Because, say you have grass, and then you have, I don't know, prismarine. Or you have terracotta. You can see the difference between these blocks. Old blocks, newer blocks. There's a massive difference between them. And say you get something like wood. You can see these textures are relatively simple, but then the newer textures are starting to go a bit crazy. So they're going to make all of them in the same art style to make the game sort of look more... I don't know the word for it. Flowy? <laughs> so to the features in 1.13. Um, options. There's a new option called full screen resolution. So, when your game's in full screen, you can adjust the resolution and FPS. And also, controls now actually say what button they are on, instead of having L shift, or down here, the word backslash. So they just say what key on your keyboard um, does it. And now, a new addition, data packs. They are like resource packs, but for loot tables, advancements, functions, and structures. So they are stored in dot minecraft slash saves slash your world slash data packs and can be stored as a zip file or a folder like resource packs so your yeah, resource packs are for textures sounds and stuff like that but data packs are for advancements and the technical stuff so yeah that is the first snapshot for 1.13 there will be more in the future so we can expect 1.13 I don't know, by maybe December or January. So yeah, if you like this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So yeah, till next time, bye.